Hi. How are you doing? Come on in. Come on. Come on. I don't know about you, but it's a little chillier outside than what I'm used to. We're only in the 50s down here right now in Midwest Arizona. Um, not happy. <laughs> I'm a sun lover, so I'm just not happy. But what's going to make me happy today is I have not one, but two Timu orders. They're not big orders, but, you know, we'll get through both of them today. For those of you that have been here before, welcome back. If you're new, and I see you, I know you're new. My name is Connie, and you've just entered Connie's little corner. On the floor in the living room again, this seems to be a really nice comfort zone for me, sitting down here on the floor at the same level with my puppies. Um, so... For those of you that are new, go down below and you will find my link where you can download the Timu app. You'll also find my code, which is AFC95851. That code will get you 30% off your very first order. When you download the app and place your first order, Timu will give me $5 on account, not cash, that I can use to spend for orders. That's part of how we get our seed money, those of us who do this. That's what we, we call seed money. So we shop on Timu's dime, and Timu gives us more dimes, so to speak, when new users sign up using our links. So yeah, you know you're gonna love this, right? And I'm never gonna steer you wrong. If you are new, I will direct you before you do anything. Go to my tips and tricks, part one, two, and three and learn how to navigate Timu and what Timu has to offer. You'll have a much better shopping experience. You don't have to take my word for it. You can message any one of my viewers down below that have looked at that. They'll tell you the kind of things that I bring to the table. So let's get started with what I have today. I have a little variety of everything. Now, prices, um, and links for these items will be below. I haven't opened them and priced them. I figured the links, people made it easier for us because they actually made the, the price part of the links. So it's all there. This is the cutest little insulated bag. Look at this. What's it say? Lunch bag designed by Live Work. Cute little bear on it. Love this. This is in a navy blue. Looks almost like a denim. I did a search looking for things in denim, and I saw this. This is completely insulated on the inside, so it will keep things hot or cold. Completely insulated. I love it. Nice, solid zipper on it. It's a good size when it's open. This will hold a six-pack. Put the six-pack in this way. Flip it up, all right? It'll hold a six pack of soda. It'll hold a six pack, the can size, not those big oversized bottles that have the long necks, but the can size. This will hold a lot. It also has a wonderful pocket on the front, which is lined. So it gives you that little bit of protection against it. Nice soft padded handles. I like this. This is really cool. This is gonna be nice for taking things back and forth um, to moms. I do like to make sure like when I pick her up that I have a cold beverage in the car for her to sip on. Um, and just little things that I have to keep, you know, tissues for her and that kind of stuff. So this is the cutest little thing. And it's in a gorgeous navy. I don't know if you can see the color of this or not close enough, but yeah, it's really, really nice material. I like that. Very happy with that. All right. Next. In keeping with my trying to organize my under cabinet storage, I got yet another storage tray. Doesn't say the measurements on this one, does it? No, it just says white. It does come in different colors, but I got the white. It's basic. This is just a nice, solid, uh, I would say at least eight inches this way. A good four inches at the highest point in the back. Two and two about two inches, two and a half inches in the front where the lip is, and you've got a couple inches wide. This will hold spray cans, spray bottles, all that kind of stuff. This one, 
I'm actually going to mount this to the side of the vanity in the bathroom. It comes with a two-sided mount. It has a little slip. And what you do is you just simply, when you put the two-sided tape on the wall, let's see if I can get it going in the right direction. You just slip this up into the grooves and it holds it on the wall, but you can take it off the wall if you need to take it off and clean it. So I really like that. That's the plan for this. This is going to hold my uh, air fresheners that I need in the bathroom. It's also going to hold the little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like a pumice stone for cleaning the hard water stains. It's a safe place to keep all that stuff where it's not like cluttered around the floor, it makes it easier for me to clean the floor. It gets it up. I actually don't even have to put it on the side of the vanity. I can mount it on the wall. Um, just up off the floor, but it's meant for the bathroom. Nice and sturdy. I know you can't hear it. Pretty easy design. I do believe it comes in different sizes and different colors. I got this one based on wanting to put at least two air fresheners and a couple other things in it. It's sturdy enough that I can put my bottle of Lysol or whatever. You know, think about what else you can use it for, but I got it for the bathroom because in one of my previous hauls, you saw the containers that I got um, for the kitchen, right? Okay. Oh, speaking of kitchen, coming soon, multiple videos. We're going to call it My Timu Kitchen. I started making a list of everything I have in my kitchen from Timu, and these are products I actively use. On the first page, there's 49 items. Can you see the counts on the top of the page? 49 items. On the second page, there's 55 items. On the third page, there's 52 items. And I just started the back, which will be the fourth page. And because I haven't even gotten to the pantry that's in the kitchen yet, where I keep all my baking supplies and that kind of things that are Timu that I use in my kitchen. It's part of my kitchen. So right now we're talking over 150, probably close to 200 items. And I'm thinking one page, I mean, the smallest page is 49 items on it. One video per page. So right now we're looking at at least three, if not four videos coming up. Um, the way I plan on doing it is I'm going to be putting pictures up of everything and I'm going to be using the pictures from the website. So as you can imagine, that's a lot of capturing that I have to do and a lot of organizing and editing I'm going to have to do in the video. It's a lot easier that way than me going through my kitchen and opening up all my drawers and holding this up and holding that up. Either way, it's the same pictures. It's just easier. I can do it with my computer. So, wow. All right. So over 200 items total that you're going to be seeing um, that are part of my Timu kitchen. You've already seen a few when you see me bake with mom, right? You've seen some of the things that I use, but now you're really gonna see. All right, next. This is the cutest little thing. This is a portable, if I can get it open. Hello, we can, I don't know. Charlie, for those of you that are new, Charlie is a marker on the bottom. If I can get it open. Right, so it will black out anything that you don't want seen. And he's also my slicer dicer when I can't get in packages. So get yourself a Charlie. He came from Timu too. <laughs> None of this is right. The hat is Timu. This is the iron on patch that I also got from Timu. These are Timu earrings. Oh, and speaking of these Timu earrings, let me hold these closer so you can actually see. These obviously are purple. Hold on, they're all tangled up. Oh my gosh. There we go. All right, so these are beautiful purple dangle earrings. These earrings come in many colors, but a few of you asked me if they could be shortened. Yes, they can. If you look on the back, you'll see how they're on individual loops. All you have to do is twist this one off, separate it from the loop, and then you've got yourself a really nice shorter pair of earrings. I happen to like my earrings longer. So yes, you can modify everything. And that's another video I have coming. All the different jewelry that I have to work on and modify that I got from Timu, but I'm going to change it over for whatever. So, okay, portable lint roller. This is a washable lint roller. Let me pull the plastic protector off. There we go. 
Okay. So, basic lint roll, and I, I'll demonstrate it on my sofa with just a few little swipes here. Neat, 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 neat. Can you see how much it picked up? Look at that. To clean this, all you do is run it underwater and it washes it right off. But I love that this is pocket size. I'm constantly looking down at what I'm wearing and going, oh my gosh, I'm covered in dog hair. This is all I need. Small, compact. You rinse it off when you get home after you use it. The whole thing is only about three inches long, not even an inch. In. It'll fit in a pocket. It'll fit in your pocketbook. Great little device. I have a couple of lint rollers that are full size that I use around the house, but I'm all about being able to take things with me when I go places. All right, what is this? Isn't that terrible? I have all these things that I don't remember what they are. Let me get this open. Oh, okay. <laughs> this comes with two-sided tapes. And all this is, this is just another way to mount things to your wall. They have all sorts of different mounting devices. So this, you put the two-sided tape on this and put it on back of your one of your remote controls or any kind of devices that you want to get up off the floor. This screws into the wall if you want to, or you can use the two-sided tape to attach it to the wall. I plan on screwing it in to make it permanent. You just literally, there's a lip on the back. You just slide them together and it gives you another holder. I like that it's round and it's small because when I put my remote on it, you actually won't see this device. You'll just see the fan remote like free hanging on the wall. And it does have the two sided tape. Not my preferred tape. You all know how I am about my heavy duty two sided tape, right? I will replace the two-sided tape, uh, this with what I actually have and what I prefer to use. But the base, yes, I'll be screwing the base into the wall. But you don't have to. All right, it will stick. It will adhere that way. Doesn't say what it, how it describes it. This one is beige. It does come in different colors. I think it comes in a white, a beige, maybe a black and a gray. So nice, tiny little thing. It, you can put anything on that. It doesn't have to be a remote control. It can be a calculator. It can be, you can mount a kitchen timer on that so that when you're using your kitchen timer, you if you have like a little ladybug one like I do, which is round, you put that on the back, you hang, get her up off the counter. Free your counter space. Get things up. All right. What do we have here? Oh, batteries. I just changed the batteries in my little... Timu Mouse, my little car. I'm still looking for the Volkswagen Beetle as a mouse on Timu. I'm looking for that one. It keeps going out of stock. So these are, let me get that out. This is an eight pack of AAA ba rechargeable batteries. So let me turn it this way. Rechargeables. These work great. They do hold a charge a long time. Um, that's what's in here now. And considering how much I use my mouse every day, the batteries, maybe once every few weeks, I have to recharge them. Um, but that's okay. So this was an 8-pack. Eight 8-pack, eight triple A. These are brand new. These were only made on December 10th of 2023. I love that they give you the creation date right here so that you know how old these batteries are when you get them. Now, I know from experience in using these, these batteries last just as long as the big American name brand like Duracells and Everettis and whatever else is out there, Rayovacs, all their rechargeables, these are just as good and they're a lot less expensive. They come in different size packs. As a matter of fact, in, I think it's Fishland, which... Don't even get me started on the games. In Fishland, one of the gifts that I chose is an 80-piece pack of rechargeable batteries. And it's AAA, AA's, C's, D's, and 9 volts, all rechargeable in one pack. It's 80 pieces. 
Um, that's probably why they're making it so hard for me to finish <laughs> to win it. Because y'all know how quickly I was winning before. Now all of a sudden it's not happening. <laughs> they don't want me to win. All right. I am going to save this bag as we talked. It's always important uh, for returns. If you absolutely have to do a re return and the refund without return doesn't work for you, save a bag and you send it back the very same way that Timu sent it to you. In the bag, no stuffing, no packing materials. Wrap this puppy up with tape. Call UPS, have them come to this house, scan the label from your phone and take it away. So, yeah. As I get new bags and I find that I don't have to return larger items, I, of course, keep the most current and or smaller bag. So that'll go up there to be kept. All right, the next thing in this bag, and these are little Velcro dots. You ever notice how you just need to keep something in place? Maybe something is sliding around on the countertop or something is sliding around on the floor. These are little Velcro dots, 24 pieces. They call them snap bubbles, but it's Velcro. You've got your texture pieces, can you see, on this side. And these are your soft felt pieces on this side. I'm only going to put a couple. Ah, see how quickly they stick together? <laughs> That's how easy they do it. But yeah, they're, they're very strong. They do stick together well. I've gotten bigger ones. Um, I got these smaller ones to use, um, excuse me, on my bath mats on the floor. So if I put the two-sided tape Put these on one side against the mat one side against the floor it keeps my mat from sliding around especially like when mom goes across it with her roller um, it stops it from sliding around it stops it from her feet from catching on it and tripping um, it also stops it from sliding when i step out of the shower or something onto it so there's a lot of little things that you just need that you want to keep together, that you want to keep from shifting. So these are the perfect size. They're very tiny. They're only about, I would say, not even a half an inch. They're very small. Nice little pack. I'm sure there's a lot of things you can use it on. Believe it or not, you can use these kind of things on uh, heavier paper, like construction paper or cardboard. If you're trying to put like a backing onto something, you can use those as well. But I find that they work great for any type of carpet, carpet corners, um, anything along those lines that you just don't want moving. Here comes the fun bag. Are you ready for the fun bag? Now, 90% of what's in this bag I got because of mom. Um, as you know, if you've been following my channel, when she comes over, when I bring her over, we always get into like we're baking something or whatever the case may be. But... Mom also loves certain games, and I like to get her brain engaged and keep her brain actively being used where she has to think and she has to reason, she has to figure things out. She's almost 95. She's in some areas, she's still got it. In other areas, it's gone. <laughs> so, do you ever go to Cracker Barrel or a bar and you find these peg games? That's exactly what this is. This is one of her favorite things. Um, I did pull it out and I didn't say anything to her about it. I just pulled it out and I set it onto the counter when she was here last weekend. And I only put one peg in it. I went like that and I put one peg in it. And she started picking up the other pegs and putting them in and going around and putting them in. And then when she got them all in, she's like, there's one missing. And all I said to her was think about it. And she's like, Oh, yeah, I need that space for jumping. She played this the whole time that I was cooking our meal. And I had to take it away from her. Like a kid doesn't want to put down their little game, right? <laughs> I had to take this away from her when it came time to eat. She's like, no, I'm not finished. They have all sorts of these little peg games. I put them backwards. You can't see it. They have square ones and round ones. And they have like the Chinese checker ones. And this was like a... Buck, oh, I did price this one. This was like a buck 45. So that's not bad for so much pleasure that it gave her. And this is something she can do on her lap. If you know, we're sitting there watching TV. She multitasks at some things. She can multi like she'll watch a movie and then she'll look down and do something. She'll watch a movie and she'll look down and do something. So she can multitask when she needs to, but games.
That one's for all ages. That one's pretty cool. I'm going to save that thing for last. All right, what's next? Got a few things in here. Oh, no, that goes with that. Yes, I talked to myself. This was $4.49. This is something that mom and I played a lot. Um, right up until the time before we moved down here. This is Domino's. Double six dominoes. There's 28 in here. I have a set of 56 dominoes so that we can really go crazy with building out on the dominoes. But I got this cute little one to start with. It comes in a nice little case. These are really nice solid. They're not plastic. It's taped into the case, so I don't necessarily want to try to pull them out. Hold on a second. I'll pull out a row. So right now they're all cellophane wrapped together, but they're two-sided. So it doesn't matter which way you play it. All right, it has the exact same. Like let's let's look at this one on the end. It has a four and a blank. But when you flip it over, it has a six and a one. So each one gives you two. You have two. See, these are double. All right, there's two stacked together. Each side of this, when I, if I were to take this one out, both sides of it would say six and one. Um, but that's why this is very deceptive. I'm trying to get it open without actually cutting the piece. These are very thin, and most people would say, oh, well, you know, you have to have thicker dominoes, but no. So there you go. That's a six and a one. And that's the four and the blank. And on the back, of course, they're completely blank. But that's why there's so many in this pack. It doesn't look like it because they are super thin. But they're very nice, solid, that acrylic. They're not ivory, but they look like the true ivory ones that I have. These are definitely smaller than the ones that I have, but they'll still work. So I'm not worried about it. So you've got two double rows inside this cute little case. Let me get it back in there. There we go. Case folds over. It has a nice little snap on the front of it, which is very solid. Not the best case in the world, but you know what? It's just to keep them organized. You know, I have a nice wood case for my other set, but that's all right. We're going to start with this. Oh, hold on. My foot's asleep again. Okay. We're going to start with this one and we'll work our way up. They do have bigger sets. Um, they also have um, the black sets that are kind of like wood. They're black with white dots. But I got these because they go, they match the set that I already have, meaning that we can use them all together and just fill the whole top of the island and just play for as long as she wants to play. So again, this is a brain game. This, I'm hoping, will help keep her sharp or help her with her reasoning skills and, and uh, try to figure things out. I think it'll work great. Considering she could play Uno and not have a problem. She kicked my butt in Uno. <laughs> Hold on, I need a drink. So games is something I haven't held before. But then I started thinking about, well, you know, this is stuff that I can do with mom. And other than the baking, what can I do to get her engaged while we're here? So we don't spend a lot of time in front of the TV set. We're busy doing stuff. This was $4.49. And this was... This is a portable Scrabble game. I like this. Doesn't take up a lot of room. I'm gonna pull the pieces out for you. Gives you all the instructions on how to play the game. Gives you, hold on, let me just pour this out. There we go. Excuse me. It gives you these four little trays a little tray that you put your letters on. And you can see how small this is, but you know what? It doesn't have to be big. It just has to work. So you get four little letter trays, all in green. And yes, they're plastic. That's okay. Your board folds out. And I'm, this is another reason why I got those sticky dots. Because of the way this is not going to lay flat when you first start using it, I am going to sticky dot this down onto something like a piece of cardboard or whatever, just so that it will lay flat. But you can see it's got all the same little squares that you would normally have, double, three times, whatever the case may be. It's got everything there. 
down in the bottom corner here, it's got your letters and what their value is per each letter. So it's just a miniature version of what you have. But because it's portable, as you can see, it's going to be hard to get it to lay perfectly flat so that your letters don't go all over the place. That being said, it's got this cute little bag of letters. All your letters are in here. And they're just like regular Scrabble letters. They have the, the number, the letter with the, the value on it all next to it. The whole big bag, just as if it was the whole game, the full-size board game. They used to have the full-size board game. I have no idea where it went. I haven't been able to find it. I probably donated it or gave it away when I left New York. So that's my plan. I will mount this to something to keep it stiffer. Um, I will try to also press it to see if I can get it to flatten out. But if not, I may even use like some spray adhesive on the back and just flatten it down to something. I do have a piece of, um, what I was thinking is I have a piece of plexiglass. And I was thinking I could attach the plexiglass to the back of this, and that would also help work as a tray and whatnot. I'm not worried about where to store it. I can store it pretty much any place. But for travel, yeah, it's a great idea. Got the bag. Let me put these in here. See, I'm already not even going to reuse the box it came out of. Just going to tip these to the side. Hopefully these will fit in here. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yep, yeah, they will. I'll just mess with it a little bit better later to get them all in. There we go. All right, so that's all in one bag. Kiss the box goodbye. Don't need it. So there's a nice travel game. So we've got those three games for mom. Now the other thing I got, the other two things I got, they go together. Oh, hold on, I forgot to bring my phone with me. Hold on a second. I have to go get my phone. I'll be right back. Okay. I didn't have to go far, um, but I accidentally hit the wrong button. So this is going to be like a complete break. It's like one video and I have to attach the second part. This is what I do with it. A mini printer. It's a little mini printer. It was $9.09. It is the cutest little thing. Why would I get a mini printer? Two reasons. Number one, my big printer's not working right now. <laughs> we won't even go into what it needs. But look at this little thing. And it is, I did charge it. It comes with, it's USB charged, but not USB powered. Once you charge it, you're good to go. So USB that it comes with to charge it. It's the cutest little thing. This is a little camera lens on it. This is where your paper comes out. Your on off button is right here where you press it to turn it on. And then you will see, hold on, whoops, I'm going the wrong way with this. Uh, there we go. It lights up. Can you see the light blinging? That means it's ready to go. You put your paper in here. This opens up. Let's see if I can get it open. I did get it, I had getting it open. Maybe, yeah, there we go. There we go. It's coming. All right, so it just simply tips up and you load your paper. It's got a little roll of paper. Now, comes with instructions. I was freaking out thinking this is gonna be really hard to do. Now keep in mind, I only have an Android phone. So what I did is I went uh, to the Play Store and let me find it in here. It's called Walk Print. I don't know if you can see. You probably can't see it. All right. It's called Walk Print. So I'm going to open up Walk Print. This is the program. Wow, that's bright. Anyway, in the pro... I don't know why it won't let you see it. That's weird. Okay, so in the program, anyway, when you open up the program... Oh, I know why. Because of my brightness. Hold on a second. My, br my brightness is too bright. Let me get in here and change my brightness. Display brightness. All right, we'll bring it down some. And let's see if that works better. Yeah, that works better. There we go. Now it's not so bright. Now you can actually see it. So on here, it gives you different choices. When you download the app 
from the Google Play or whichever Play Store that you get your apps from. You're going to have to link this to your Bluetooth. So you're going to go into the up on top, you, you pull down, you go into your Bluetooth connections and you pair the device. So if you keep the device this close to your phone, it will pair it and then it brings this up so it can read your device. So you can do label printing. You can do a new note if you wanted to type into a note and print it. You can do a list. You can do a picture print. Um, it gives you all sorts of different things. Banners, horizontal layouts, uh, voice notes. Now all of a sudden, it's getting, there we go. Voice notes, historical notes. Um, it'll give you pretty much anything that you want. So if I go into click on picture print, what it's going to do is it's going to say taking pictures or photo album. So I'm going to go into my photo album and what's going to happen is it's going to bring up, you can't see, it's still too bright. There we go. It's starting to. It's going to bring up all my different pictures. Right? There we go. So let's make it easy. And I'm going to bring up a picture of, what am I going to bring up a picture of? Bring up a picture of Sadie. So I'm going to tap the picture of the, that I want. All right. And it's got a little check mark down here. So you just click that check mark telling it that you're done. You can have effects. You can put effects on it. You can crop it. Um, you can make it like look like graffiti. You can rotate it and spin the picture. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm just clicking on black because I want it to click in black and white. There we go. And I'm going to go back and picture print. It gives me all the information on the top. I don't know if you can see that. All the information on the top of the screen. I don't know why you can see it on one side, not the other. All right. So it gives you the whole readout, everything about your picture on the top. And you just go up here and you click on, hang on a second. I want to hold this up while I do it. You go up here and you click on print. And here we go. Can you see it coming out? So what it did is it did a test print. It didn't print her picture. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go to the preview. I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab my photo album. Come on, populate. Takes it a while to bring up your pictures. Go back. Gonna grab Sadie's picture, gonna click on OK. Gonna go up here to the top. Now you can see it has her picture right there. And then I'm just gonna click on print. That's the picture that's gonna come out. And it does print the ID that's across the top. Here she comes. There she is. They printed her picture. <laughs> it prints in black and white. It's not ink that it's printing in. It's literally like a photo imprint. There's no ink in this thing. So it's like a laser print, but there's her picture. You can change the settings and sharpen it or make it lighter or darker. I, right now, for testing purposes, I'm using it lighter because it just to show you that it works. And it printed it the same size as what's on my phone. Is that not cool? So what I've used this for in the past, what I experimented with is when I do my grocery shopping online, I never get a receipt. When I go to the store and I pull up to do curbside pickup, or if I go anywhere to do curbside pickup, they never give me a receipt. Everything is electronic receipts. I like, I'm old fashioned. I like the paper receipts that I know that if my phone crashes or my computer crashes, I'm not going to lose that payment information. So I like to have that receipt. 
So I've been using this, I've already used it a couple of times to print out my receipts from the grocery store. So to turn it off, you just push the button for a second and hold it. Oops, hold on. For like two seconds and it shuts off. This thing is small. Can you see how tiny this is? Here's my little Android phone. Give you an idea. It's just about as wide as the Android phone and maybe half the length of it. Not big. Yeah. I've used it several times so far, and I haven't had to recharge it. But I do keep the charger handy, and I keep a charging cube handy um, in my kitchen, so I can just plug this in, set it there, and when I'm done, I just keep it back in the box, which is good. And I do keep the instructions in the box just in case I need to troubleshoot. So what goes along with that, oh, here, I just want to show you as example. I took a picture of my remote control. So this is the taking a picture feature. So I didn't, I just took that picture and then printed it. And then I went on to the website feature where you can go to a web capture. I went into my Kroger slash fries and I printed my receipt that I needed. So yeah, cool, right? All right, I'm happy with that. Oh, let me put the Scrabble instructions back up here. All right, the last thing I got is this was only a dollar twenty two. See if I can get into this. Come on, Charlie, do your thing. Goodness gracious. This thing I need to slice my finger open, right? All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, got it. This is a three pack for what did I say? Dollar twenty two. So it's roughly forty cents, right? And it's Colored paper. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's all stuck in there. There we go. All right, it's out. Three rolls of the printer paper. And this one is random colors. I got yellow, pink, and blue. Just to be different. You can change this paper out at will. You don't have to wait for a roll is done. You can just change it out whenever you want to change it out. They do have plain white rolls of paper, but there's a lot in here. Considering each piece that you print that's going to come out, they all come out about this size. You can get ones to come out longer. If my receipt was longer, it would have printed much more. Um, I haven't seen how far it'll go. I really didn't want to waste the paper, but on average, it prints about three and a half to four inch size. You're not going to get big, but if you do want anything printed, this is a great printer for young kids to um, start to learn. Or if you want to, one of the things I did is I printed out a recipe I found online. I just went to the website. I did a web cap, uh, web, can't talk, a web capture, all right? And it went into my phone, into that program in my phone, and I just printed it out. Now I have the recipe to use. So you can get different size, different colors papers. The rolls are all pretty much the same. Not a bad price, about 40 cents for a roll of paper. You never have to buy any ink for this. As I said, it's, it's inkless. It's basically a little mini laser printer. You can't go bad. So $9.09 .09 for the printer itself. A dollar and change for this. So for roughly $11, a little less than $11, nice little portable printer. This will fit in my glove box if I want to take it anywhere with me, but I don't have to. I have the app in my phone. I can just take a picture or a, a web capture or screenshot of anything that I want to print. It'll go into the program. I can print it whenever I want when I get home. There you go. Quick and easy. Don't have to turn on the big bulky printer, right? It's a bonus when you don't have to do that. <laughs> easy to change the paper. Easy to take the pictures. What do you think? Right? I've never hauled anything like these before. Um, I am looking at more games, obviously. If there's anything in particular you guys want to see that I haven't hauled yet, by all means, let me know. Again, look out for these. Page one um, will be coming probably within the next few days. 
Um, I already have the video recorded. I just have to start inserting all the pictures <laughs> that goes with it um, because there's a lot of items. Like I said, there's 49 items just on the first page. All right, so 49 and 55 is 104. That's the first two videos. And then another 52. So that's 156. And God knows how many is going to be on the back. Yeah, we're looking at about 200 items in my Timu kitchen. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging with me. Make sure you give a big thumbs up. Thumbs up really helps the channel grow. Uh, YouTube gets to see that people really do like what I'm presenting. It moves it up in the algorithm so it gets it out there for more exposure. Please don't forget to share. Right now we are halfway. Uh, we're, I'm, I'm right at the 2400 mark. So we're just about halfway to my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I have an amazing box of stuff uh, that I am filling with all sorts of things and not just Timu. All sorts of things from... Um, other bargains and places that I found in addition to Timu items. So make sure you share this, get it out there. Let's get our subscriber count up. And I say our, because we are a family. This channel belongs to all of us. I'm just happens to be the matriarch. All right. And please, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, really, come on. You know you want to, right? You're watching this. Hit that subscribe and notification bell. We're not getting married. There's no legal obligation. All it does is make sure you don't miss a video or a community post that I put up. And no matter what I do, you'll see it. If you decide down the road you don't like it, you can say bye. You don't have to be subscribed. It's okay. <laughs> I don't take offense. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. But this is my cup of tea. Another Timu mug. Touch my coffee and I'll slap you so hard, even Google won't find you. Well, this isn't coffee, this is tea. But stay hydrated. Above all else, remember, stay sweet. And I will catch you a couple of days with the first in installment of my Timu Kitchen.